Good morning. So today I'm sharing with you um, how to help your ribs and your neck tension, um, even low back tension. This is a very soft foam roller. This is one of my go-to movements um, after uh, intense movements or play movement where I feel maybe tension, a headache. Um, this is a, a great restorative, uh, it's a foam rolling and movement together. Um, this is a soft, soft foam roller. Very, very squishy and soft. Uh, do not do these movements on a hard roller. Um, this roller, you can do a lot of different things with the soft roller. The roller is actually made to move things internally. Uh, well, it's not made for that, but the movements that I'm doing on it uh, is more about internal movement of the rib cage. Um, the ribs getting kind of squished and smashed and so they can open and close, which will release, can release shoulder and neck tension. Um, we also can roll parts of the body that may be too sensitive uh, on a harder roller. So here's just the move, just as for upper body. Uh, we'll come to the floor and placing the roller onto the floor behind you. So traditionally, uh, on a regular roller, uh, you would start with the roller behind like shoulder blade area. Um, and with where your elbows are at also matters. So if my elbows are really wide, that puts my, that shoves my shoulder blades kind of together. Uh, so if I close my elbows slightly, it draws my shoulder blades naturally back on my back. So that's just gonna feel different when I'm rolling, right? Um, so if you start with lifting the hips and just doing that natural, like not natural, but the traditional rolling from front to back, from uh, bottom to top, uh, and with this roller, you can pretty you can go pretty high up onto the boat onto your bones, not onto the neck with all that pressure, but I can go pretty high up uh, onto uh, my shoulder bones right there. Okay, um, so that's just the part one. Now the move that I kind of created and like share and teach with all my clients is a rolling movement. Right, so I'm gonna be with my hands behind my head, elbows slightly. Um, inward, finding my breath, so breath is important here because that helps get movement happening here, right? And I'm rolling to the side, very, very slowly. And so my shoulder blade's there, my rib cage is there, so movement needs to happen underneath that roller. And I'm gonna roll to my side, right? And I can continue to roll, so, um, for women, you'll want to be either above the breast or below. I can roll right underneath, right? And I'm going to reposition my legs and body to get into like a sweet spot. So I can roll almost all the way to my ribs and I actually do roll all the way on my ribs a lot. Nice full breath here. This is just going to create opening. And as I go back, I'm going to support my head. I want to keep my bones heavy. I want to stay soft through here. And notice how I'm using my legs to help me uh, roll with gravity. Right, so I'll take a breath in. Exhale, slowly going to the other side. Right, I'll bring my top arm down. I'll slide that top leg forward if I want to go a little bit more forward onto the front body. You can pause and take time here if you feel some tension, right? Adding breath, adding those inhalations into the ribs, right? So just going from one side to the other, right? You might find a place you want to stay. I could just kind of go from, from front to back, right? But I'm staying, trying to stay a little soft and relaxed on the roller as I go forward from front to back, okay? If you do decide to go all the way front, uh, you want it underneath the breast, right? And just playing with dropping or draping over the roller. And then I can keep my ribs wide and heavy and then a nice breath into my back and side here. And then exhale. Right, and 
this is gonna soften a lot of times we hold tension through this part of the body um, that can get stuck and sticky um, or we hold tension in the back so you just kind of play and navigate and find uh, do you want it you know you want it more to the side rolling side right but trying to go back and forth through the movement so that way when I have pressure on this side of my rib cage, it'll actually create movement on this side. So this weight, the ribs on this side have to kind of open and um, adapt, right, to that movement there. Yes, okay. So stay tuned, There's, uh, I love this roller so much, use it every day. Every single one of my clients that purchase it and do some of these movements, they fall in love with it too. I've never had someone not like it. You have to get um, you have to get used to it being soft. If you're used to that that uh, feel good pain in a hard roller, it's not that sensation. It's not that experience. It's not for the purpose of releasing a muscle. It's for getting the fascia to hydrate, um, and the muscles will slide and glide better and with less uh, holding and stickiness when we start to address the fascial uh, connections within and getting that small ringing out movement within the ribs with the breath. So, thank you.